Moving into the next state of our project, we are going to start fleshing out how to play the game. Now when we are playing the game, the first thing that I want to have happen is I want to put something on the mouse so it's attached to the mouse so that the player knows where they are on screen when they're moving left and right. So to do that, I will just set my fill color to blue and we'll draw an ellipse at mouse X, mouse Y, give it a radius of 50, or I mean a width and height of 50, not a radius, so a diameter of 50. So now that draws a circle wherever the mouse is. Once again, Every time we add something to the project, it's a good idea to test. And now I can see that the circle is indeed following my mouse. Time to put in our game logic. It's highly encouraged to put in comments into your code as you're writing it so that when you go back and look at things as your programs go longer you can figure out what is happening within them. So put in comments to help explain what different steps are because a week, two weeks, a month, two months, six months, a year down the road if you look at a project without comments you have to spend a lot of time trying to get your brain back into that state of what is this and what was I thinking? Now, my game logic, we have told the player that if we go left, we win. If we go right, we lose. So I can say if mouse x is less than 50, hit return twice, close out my curly. Now, with that, this is going to be win. We'll do something at win at that point. And if mouse x is greater than with minus 50, this is where we lose. Currently our game is fairly simple. We're not keeping track of score. We don't have any timer stuff going on or any other things. We just have it set up so that if they go left, they win. If they go right, they lose. So kind of follows that we can just say game state will be set equal to win. And losing will be game state will be set equal to lose. Fairly simple logic. Now, we don't have any visual indication for win and lose yet of what once we land in those states. So what I want to do before we figure out then more details on win and lose right now just on the place data as we're developing this is to put a little text or something on screen so that we know we've achieved different places because if I run it right now I will just have blank screens for win and lose so I won't really know am I there or not. So I can just simply put out a line I can say text and my string for text will be win and then I can specify where to put it. Now as you're putting in things we're getting an error message down here but it's also helping. It says the function text expects parameters like string float float. So the string is the text that shows up on screen. The float float will be our locations x and y of where that text is going to show up. So then lose I can put that on screen as well. So just some real basic text information. Now, if I run this again, um, oh, 
We also need to assign a fill value in to make sure that it keeps track of or gives our text some color. I'll just make it black so a fill of zero. And it's important before you put text or draw objects on screen you always assign the color because otherwise the color used will be whatever color was previously assigned and if I look at my clear background function it's assigning a color of white so I'd have a white background with white text which would make it kind of hard to see so that's really not going to help now if we run this click anywhere to play so I click there's my object now if I go left you can see the text showed up and it says win I run it again click now if I go to the right, we lose. So that proves that we have now successfully been able to run the play game function. It draws the blue circle where the mouse is and then our game logic is determining based on mouse position have we won the game or lost the game.